blue plaque is something different. It marks the site of Hyam's Mineral Water Works. It is an interesting one, isn't it? Thomas Hyam established his firm here in 1866, and he's actually quite influential in the scheme of things. He was an alderman, a JP, and in 1875 he actually became mayor. And the business he established here, they were producing mineral waters, lemonade, ginger beer, and it had quite a following. It certainly did. One of the regular customers was the Duke of Beaufort. And there's a nice letter from the Duke, which survives. Look, it says, For upwards of six months, I have used no seltzer water but Mr. Hyams of Monmouth. A great quantity has been consumed in this house, and I have found it most excellent. I have never been so well supplied. Well, that's high praise indeed. Eventually it branched out into other things, like Hyam's anti-influenza tonic water. I wonder if it worked. There's also what might be called an example of site-use continuity here. There is. At the end of the 19th century, the business was taken over by Charles Ballinger, and his, his firm traded as Ballinger's Mineral Water Works right into the 1960s. Yep. After that, the building was operated as a tyre company for a while, and now it's been converted into apartments. Yeah, appropriately called Hyam Court. 